Well, it's, it's been a while, hasn't it, Duke, since since we did one of these? I won't lie to you, mate. It, it, it really does feel like it was yesterday. Um, <laughs> There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. Maybe. Maybe. How yeah. you doing? All right? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Um, as usual, to anyone watching this live or at a later stage, please don't forget to like, comment on and share the stream. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for alerts on new content. And as always, Duke, we thank them for their support, don't we? Yeah, yeah, we are We are uh, roughly four weeks away from from our anniversary. And if it wasn't for the guys that have supported us, you know, from, from day one, for the most part, um, if it wasn't for them, you and me would be sitting here, a pair of twats. Um, we do that anyway, no to one. be fair. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, all right, fair enough. But, um, <laughs> yeah, no, if it wasn't for it's the guys It's just nice to have company, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think, um, I, I think Elliot's on the verge of getting barred from... Um, oh, from Elliot, his, um, no. He carries, he carries oh, wait, no, I think like he's... That. I think he's no. I think he's saying he's, no, he's anticipating a two-one defeat for Norwich. Oh, that's, for that's Norwich. how I'm reading okay. it. Is, is, is he a Norwich? He's a Norwich fan, isn't he? he is. Elliot, is Elliot yeah, the Norwich Elliot's, fan? Yeah. Elliot's a canary. Well, listen, if listen, if he, if by the way, I suppose when you when you consider it, um, if he's talking about his team being the winning team, it's fair enough, isn't it? Can't mm. blame him for that. But, ah, of course not. Anyhow, yeah, I mean, yes. I've got to say, mate, decent I, result, I Elliot. That, I know it was. Just... Norwich are playing some good football. Uh, Charlton are playing some good football at the minute. Mm. So, um, yeah, it's it's been interesting. Obviously, it's a local team to us too, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah would have would have been a, a a a test for Norwich. I know that you could turn around and say, yeah, but they're two divisions above, but. I think Charlton are probably not in reality a League One club, and, and with all due respect to Norwich, I don't think that Norwich are a Premier League club, so they probably meet in the middle roughly. Do you know what I mean? I mean so, you say they're not a Premier League club. Um, I, I would, with all due respect, I, I'm, I'm going to disagree with that. I just currently don't feel they have um, enough Premier League players. I think would be uh, would be a fair comment. They've got a. They've got a decent um, sized uh, fan base. I've been I've been attacked. Oh, they've got a relatively decent sized fan base. They, you know, um, I we've just got a few on the level to, against Everton. Oh. oh, he's gone for it. He's 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 he's, he's, he's bypassed the game tomorrow. You'll notice, Elliot. Elliot, let's concentrate on the game tomorrow. Give us give us your eleven for tomorrow. I'm going to put my predicted 11 i mean you're you're the norwich expert and you'll probably look at it and go there's no chance of him playing so you know yeah I mean, um, there is a... yeah give us give us your 11 for tomorrow really let, let us know what you think i'd be really interested um kent's in um no no you're not late mate you don't have you listen we're always bloody late so you you got no problem so if it's we don't win that. tomorrow with two goals to spare i won't be happy must win and again, with no no disrespect meant to Norwich, but Norwich are bottom of the Premier League. We are yeah. a team that's operating Massive. at a higher sphere. Um, right, with the home team, I, th I think with all due respect to, to Norwich, I agree with what Kent's saying. I, I think a, a, a two-plus goal margin for for a, a win is 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 absolutely. Um, Absolutely a must in my book. Yeah, I mean, listen, if we don't, if we don't come away with, um, I, oh, I won't say a, I won't say a resounding victory, um, but I mean, as, as Kent says there, if we don't win tomorrow with two goals to spare, I mean, mm. listen, Villa, Villa yesterday should have pretty much won. Let's, let's not mess around, and mm. there they are, um, kind of on the receiving end of a, a VAR. You know, as my internet just dropped out, or is that your internet that's just dropped out? This happened yesterday, and it's really frustrating when this happens because I never know whether it's me or whether it's him. My money's on Duke. My money's that that Duke has dropped out. In fact, my money is very strongly on that Duke dropped out. <laughs> There's yeah, that sort of... I was, I was, 
There's that little moment where you're sort of sitting there thinking, is it me or is it him that's dropped out? No, I was I was sitting there connected to my phone uh, on my 5G because we still don't have um, our own personal internet and the pub. It's all right. It does a job, but it's yeah. not the greatest for streaming. Um, as you can imagine, this yeah. at the moment, I, I'm looking at about probably 15 to 20 people. Oh, no, it's group round by the pool table. Probably about 25 people downstairs that are probably yeah. running off of my internet at the same time. So, but my battery just died on my phone. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so now sorry I'm about that, Rob. Sorry about that, but you can always watch us later. It's not a problem, or you can watch one of the other ones. We're we're pretty chilled about it. To be fair, it is what it what is. Was I saying um, anyway before we just, just getting. Went. Have you ever been to Carrow Road? Me no. Um, no, I haven't either. I'll be honest. It's on my bucket list. If I if I show if, if I show my um my my comedic delight in a gentleman that was a. Uh, Jim Davidson, uh-huh. um, when he says about when you go up to Yarmouth, you turn your clocks back 300 years. Um, <laughs> I've got family that live in Yarmouth. I won't tell I'll him you said it. I'll say no more. I won't tell him you said it. <laughs> Sharky's just turned hey. up. You're late, mate. <laughs> ah, we don't care. Like I say, we're always bloody. <laughs> I was about to say, you just let Ken know. I oh, know, oh, no. I'm pulling his leg. Don't take me too seriously, <laughs> mate. Right, should I get my? Now I'm I'm going to get my get my predicted up. team up. Get mine oh, up. Yes, say, indeed. Sorry. However, what I should point out is it uh, after I put this together, it then got announced that Vladimir Kufel, there's a chance that he might be available tomorrow it seems that his isolation period they say was the early part of last week so he may be good to go for tomorrow so and I've also heard that Cresswell might be available so I'm sort of sitting here and I'm thinking oh is it going to be Cresswell left or is it going to be Johnson left is it going to be Johnson right Kufal right maybe even Fredericks who knows uh listen pays your money takes your choice I mean there's a there's a part of me that thinks actually maybe maybe sort of like leave Fredericks and, and Johnson in the positions they were on Sunday and sort of like maybe bring back Cresswell and Kufal for the slightly tougher fixture on, on Sunday. But um, just looking through that 11, Duke, what, what's your thoughts on it? Well, me, listen, um, we, did, we did this Saturday and we, we mm. sat and we had the conversation about uh, the Leeds game Sunday and, and you, you tried out, yeah, your predicted lineup, and and I, I turned around and said, didn't I? I'd rather see um, our strongest eleven against Leeds in the cup, and then throw out a bit of a mixture tomorrow against Norwich. There's no disrespect mm. to Norwich. I still think that we would have enough um, in the bank with with some of the youngsters and uh, some of the uh, you know the more seasoned pros on the bench. Um, to be able to do it again, no disrespect to Norris, but to be able mm. to do a job, and I'm, I'm still feeling, <clears throat> I'm still feeling that way. Now, I'd like to see um, two of the three um, changed in the in the back four. Mm. Sorry, two of the four changed out the back four. Now, okay. I'm looking at, um, I'm looking at. Cresswell, if he's fit to come back, I know there was rumours that he's targeting him and Zuma are targeting the Man U game. I believe I read today. But if yeah. Cressy's available, then you've got to go Cressy all day long. Um, okay. he's, he's been out. <clears throat> he's been out long enough now that <clears throat> he needs to get some minutes under his belt to um, to be able to get back into the swing of things. I'd like to see. Um, one of the one of the two boys there, Diop or Dawson, um, dropped out to give one of the other youngsters a run. Um, okay. And then over on the right, if Dufau is fit, I I think Johnson's pretty much making a statement, taking his claim for um, you know the number one right back spot. So then for yeah. me, I'd go Dufau. So then you're, you're replacing Johnson at right uh, left back with Cressy. One of the two boys probably um, Diop. Maybe Dawson for you know either an essay or uh, Baptiste, I think it is, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then and then you have Sufal 
the other side, um, I'd, I'd probably, again, I'd drop one of the two boys in the middle um, and I'd, I'd definitely bring in Alex Crowell. Yep. Um, into there. If you're going to, if you listen, if you're going to drop Rice, it'll be Noble that, that walks in there. So probably Suchek gets dropped for Crowell and maybe Dex gets 45, just dependent on obviously how we're doing at half time. Um, and then you, I'd, I'd, I'd leave Bowen out of tomorrow's game because I, okay. he, I, I would because I think you could do a job with Yama there, and I can't believe I've just said that, but oh. I believe you. No, I, listen, as long as Masuaku don't feature, you could do a job with Stick Yama out there. tomorrow. Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Um, but but we need Bowen um, for this for this next yeah two months before the before the um, Europa League kicks back in in March. Mm-hmm. We're gonna need we're gonna need Bowen on all cylinders in the Premier League, and and he's there, you know, chomping at the bit for a, a, an England call up, and I, I I don't say that lightly. Mm-hmm. Um, I would probably um, I'd probably drop Vlasic and bring Fornells over there, um, just because again, I think we're gonna have enough to beat Norwich. Okay. We're going to need these guys for Sunday. So I'm I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, okay, I'm not saying wholesale changes, but they, there's going to need to be some changes. Um, that 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 team that I'm looking at there mm. would probably be the one I took to go out against Leeds on Sunday. Um, so I'd okay. like to see some of the youngsters in there. Um. Can Antonio think- play three games in a week? Maybe not. You know, yeah. would it be would it be <clears throat> um, prudent to, to drop him and maybe give you know maybe the likes of <clears throat> well saying that Flex played last night, so it'd have to be Perkins, wouldn't it? Uh, possibly, yeah. I, I yeah. to be honest, I can't remember. Did he play last night? Flex did, I believe. Flex scored. Okay. Yes, he did. Yes, yes, he did. Coventry, Oco, Flex, and Equa, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. So for me, that's where I'm at. I mean, I'm tomorrow. Tomorrow, even with and again, no disrespect meant to Norwich or any Norwich fans, but hmm. with a um, even with a reduced capacity side, we should still have enough to um, to get past Norwich. Do you think there's a danger though by making? I know what you're saying about making changes and resting players and all the rest of it. And I, th- I think there's, there's there's merit in that. But do you think that there's a danger that by doing that, you possibly do Dean Smith's team talk for him? Yeah, but again, you can't... Um... Cheers, Ken. You can't... You can't play... Um, <clears throat> you can't expect the players, and, and I know, you know, I, 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 I'll come back to a comment on the, um, saw something this morning on Sky mm. about um, players' mental health and all the rest of it. And it was mm. mentioned on Sky Sports about, you know, a player, player oh, a player's, um, you know, he has a bad game or he has a run of bad games or whatever. And the fans get on players' backs and, and the way we turn. Mm. Um, you know, you, uh, oh, but they're professionals. They earn 150 grand a week. They should be able to do it. And it's, I, listen, I used to make the comments um, along, this, along the lines of you should be able to play two games in a week um, because they're, they're, they're fit sportsmen. That's what they they, they train yeah. to be the... But what we're asking them to do right now is to play three. And I, I, I think that might just be a, a, a bit of a push when you look at the likes of Antonio. Um, and he's, and he's you know, he's, he's <clears throat> got a fondue hamstring. Um, They've lasted you know, well they this are, season so far. Touch wood. They, and, and there it is. But we've, you know, he's also missed 
um, a few games here and there. You know, um, I just don't want to over push it. I don't want to. Um, I, I, I don't want to push our luck. And like you say, Rob, everything seems to be going in our favour at the moment. And I just don't want to be. I don't want to push our luck. You know, we at the start of the season, Rob. Um, we cracked on about losing Antonio at the top of the pitch, yeah? Mm. All, 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 all at the beginning of the season. And we, <clears> listen, we did videos on it. We were talking about Antonio. If he goes down with an injury, we've got no one to replace him. Rada, rada, rada. Then, then we lost on Bonner. And we all went to it. And then we lost Zuma. And we all went shit. Then we lost Cresswell and we just face palmed because we've been so focused. And, and, and I'd say most of the YouTube community, most of the videos that were done were what if Antonio gets injured? We've got no replacement. We, we didn't focus elsewhere on the what if we lose a player. You know, I, I brought it up uh, when I mentioned Dexter Rice a few months back. What if we lose <clears throat> Dexter Rice? You know, to an injury, how important a uh, player he is. I'm starting to feel that way now. If we lose Jared Bowen, if we lose, you know, we, we overpushed Lanzini coming back from this injury. I know people are saying, oh, well, he's back from this injury. Listen, I think he's, I think he's come out the other side of the mental block for that injury. Um, mm. But again, you don't want to push your luck. <clears throat> you don't want to push your luck with a Declan Rice or Thomas Suchek. Injury, you know, you don't yeah. want to push your luck with a back uh, another injury in that back in the in in, in the two at the centre back. So I'm just I'm just cautious, if you will, and I'm worried that a big injury to anyone else that's on that screen there could may well more than likely probably completely derail the season and, and really put paid to. Uh, a top six push, a top seven push, a top mm. four push, whatever if you want to look at it. FA Cup run, you know, having a good go at the Europa League. I'm just concerned that an injury to a, maybe to Bowen would, would, pardon my friends, fuck that all up. Yeah, no, nah, fair point. It's it's a balancing act, isn't it? It's trying to yeah. sort of, you know, not go too far one way or the other. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. And it, and to be fair, if if there's a game that you could look at resting players it's probably tomorrow against the yeah. bottom team currently in the premier league home fixture i, th I think it, it, it may well there may well be a little bit of rotating going on but, but we'll see let's have a little look now i'll just get elliot's comment up do forgive me ladies and gentlemen because obviously i tell you let me go get rid of that right okay so elliot bless him has put cruel who, which is the goalkeeper that I've got there. Uh, Aaron's, yep, I've got him. Hanley, yep, got him. He's gone Gibson. I did sort of Amanar, would it be Gibson as his partner? I've gone Kabak. Um, and at left back, we've both gone for the same player, Giannis. Uh, then we go into midfield, and he's gone Lees Malou, Sorensen, McLean, Sergeant, Rashika, and Puki. Hang on a minute. Four, one, two. I, I was going to say, is there a player missing? Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, there is eleven. Yeah. Okay. Um. So who's he got that I haven't? He's got Rashika. Oh yeah, that was it. Um. He's gone. So he's gone. Lise Malou, and I've gone. Um. Plachetta. There's. That's the only other. So we've got. We've got nine of the eleven that we've got is identical, and then there's two players that we disagree on, but. You, when you look at that team, Duke, and be real honest, do you look at that team and see any any real danger there that we need to be aware of, or do you just basically look at it and go, mm. "Hang on, is there's there's twelve names there, Rob? No, 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 Lee's Malou. That's that's a double barrel. Oh, I name. was wondering. Okay, thank yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. I'm like, what? The Anyway, um, I'll be honest. I look at that team. 
Is there any of them you would have in the West Ham squad, let alone the starting eleven? Any of them you would have in the West Ham squad? Two. Go for it. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Max Aaron. Yep. Huge fan. Mm-hmm. Um, and I like the way that uh, Pookie goes about his business. Um, okay. When you consider that we currently only have Antonio as our, as our striker, um, I, 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 you know, I'd take him all day long. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, just, just Pookie as well. Um, mm. I, I like Max Aaron, but he, you know, does he get in above? Foul or Johnson, you know, it, it, he's going to be fighting those two for that position. You know what I mean? Mm. So he can also play left back, same as Johnson does. Well, then you know what? That in, I mean, it, it cost a bloody fortune, though. I mean, I know. He, did he cut? Was he the one? It's Forrest. What Max Aaron's? Yeah, who, who was that? No, he's he's been at Norwich his entire yeah, career. Villa bought him. That would, uh, I don't know, anyway. Um, don't know. I don't even know what I'm going on about. I've lost his thread. Anyway, no. Um, <laughs> I, I, I like Max Aaron's, but I don't think, he, like Ken says, I don't think he'd get in front of the other two. But mm. I, 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 I like him. Um, <clears throat> he always seems to do well for me when I when I buy, buy him on Football Manager. And, yeah, Pookie, I, I, like I say, I like the way he goes about his business. Um, and he would give Antonio um, a run for his money up front, you know. Uh, you know. Is that the player you're on about? It's, yeah. That it might be the player. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was trying no. to think. Did, did Villa, who, did, who, did Villa, who did Villa buy from Forrest? From Forrest? May Cash. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it was a fullback. I knew, I knew someone had bought someone from Forrest. It's fine. I, I don't with it's fine. Um, anyway, enough of that. Enough of me going, I don't know what I'm doing. But there's, there's no one there that you really look at and go, oh, we've got to watch out for him. Because uh, the one player no. I probably would have would have been That's probably it. Billy Gilmore. But he's he's apparently out for the next four weeks, so they reckon. So I'm like, oh, brilliant. No, and I'm not saying that, you know, brilliant, he's injured. But from the point of view that he's probably one of the players that I would have been looking at and sort of going, mm, yeah, got to watch out for him. And the other one being um, uh, Todd Cantwell. He's been ill lately, but the story, well, the, the news both... is that he's he's back. He he potentially could be available tomorrow. But Newcastle are sniffing around, and I'm not being funny. With, with all the best will in the world, are you, if you're Norwich, you probably most Norwich supporters are quite realistic and probably know that their fate will be relegation at the end of this season, I would have thought. So, you know, do you play Todd Cantwell tomorrow, risk him possibly getting injured, put him out of getting a, a money move to Newcastle to give Dean Smith the funds to maybe bring some players in that maybe not with a view to keep them up, because I think that's that's not going to happen, quite honestly, but with a view to getting players in that could get them back up from the championship next season and possibly keep them in the Premier League from that point on? All right, let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. If you're... I'll try all day long. I couldn't agree more. Listen, if you're... <clears throat> if you're Cantwell, Rob, okay. Yep. If you're, if you're Cantwell... Mm-hmm. You're pretty much in a Norwich side, as you said there, that Norwich fans are honest with themselves. They're a side that are down, yeah? Hmm. Would you... Run Cox risk Senior? Even Richard, would you run the risk of leaving a guaranteed relegated club? Um, I think Cantwell... He's, Cantwell uh, he's, he's a Norwich boy, isn't he? Yeah, he's from Deerham, if I remember correctly. He came, and he came through the ranks, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So you're running the risk of pretty much shitting on your legacy. Uh, you know, a bit like Jermaine Defoe did for us, yeah, after after the Birmingham game. Apparently, he ended his transfer notice on the basketball. Yeah. You're going to leave 
a, a more than likely relegated side to join a possibly relegated side. Do you see where I'm coming? I, I, I mm. really, I, I really, I don't think that regardless of, mm. of what they're doing and who they're getting, I, I really do think Newcastle are, gonna, are still, still going to struggle. That okay. being said, Everton spending £15 million on El Ghazi um, n- n- nearly made me choke, choke on, my, um, on my Burger King earlier today. Um, <laughs> what the actual fudge is, is going on there. Um, Have you heard about Chris Wood? Where's he? Uh, um, Newcastle. Is that Newcastle? Apparently, yeah, there was again. a release clause in his contract. Because initially, I thought, what the hell's going on there? They're selling you know him to a direct is, rival, but he's 30. Yeah, again, uh, three or four years ago, yeah, all, all day long, Chris Wood would have been uh, outstanding. He's, he's, the sort of, he's, he's the sort of player that I, I would have hoped to have seen someone like Carroll you know, become. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I need to see Jake's haircut. I need... I've got to find a Jake video with this new haircut. Um, yeah, I mean... I, I, yeah, George, I, I see what you're saying about 15 million, you know. It's, it's a going rate. He might be proven premiership tested, but he's also championship quality at best. Now, I get that we're seeing some of these players come out of the, out of the championship, um, you know, by Ben Rama. Came from Brentford, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Ollie Watkins went for Brentford when they were in the championship, and and these players went for you know just that uh, 30 million quid each. Bowen, yeah, again, you know, but El Ghazi's is championship player at best, and 15 million quid for him is, is a lot of money for me. It's, I, I just, I, I'm honest, if I'm honest. I'm glad he's going somewhere like Everton because that shows you that Everton are really. Shit out of luck right now, and, and I'm so, really so. Are you saying he's more a Kazi than a Ghazi? I'm saying he's an El Car, El Gar- oh, yeah, that one, whatever. Um, I, I, I think Newcastle are really going to struggle, um, mm-hmm. to stay up this season, regardless. Um, Coutinho going to um, Villa sends a statement. It really does send a statement. Cheers, and Elliot. Regular, Thanks for coming, cheers, mate. Elliot. Look after yourself. Um, you know, El Ghazi, uh, Dina leaving Everton, um, which looks like he's going to join Villa now. But again, mm-hmm. there's so many conflicting reports across, um, you know, listen, if we, Ken, I, I bow to your superiority when it comes to these, these players at the championship and, and, and et cetera, et cetera. I know you know your stuff there. Um, cheers, mate. Cheers, Elliot. Thank you, buddy. Um, you too. Yeah. I've seen so many conflicting reports. You know, yesterday morning I saw that um, Dean is going to opt for a move to Villa because, mm. you know, that's where he wants to go. Six hours later I say that we're back in the race and... Dina wants to move to London, and I'm, I'm going, well, which is the case. You know, someone's got to be talking bullshit right now. Um, but also, we should be able to compete with the likes of Villa to get these players wrong. You know, well, the, when you think that we're in Europe and they're not, yeah, I'm not being know, funny. I, I'd like to have thought we would have had a chance of getting Coutinho in. I would have thought we, you know... Everyone's going, how can Villa afford it? Because Barcelona are still paying something like 50 pen, uh, 50% of his wages. Mm. That's why they're able to that's why they're able to afford this. 30 million quid um sign, tra- transfer fee. Yeah. Already agreed. You know, so that's you know, they've they've still obviously got they're they're already spending the next set of Premier League finished and you know, TV money for next season. Mm. On that's yeah. what they're spending on Coutinho, and good luck to them. But fuck mine, I thought we would have been, in, you know, especially knowing that we're losing um, Ben Rama down to, you know, the Afcon for at least four weeks. Mm. I believe. Scott. Good afternoon, sir. Um, let's not talk about the pub move. 
Pub moves go. Pub moves go really well. Yeah, it's just the move. The half move, not so much. They say, right, Rob? They say that the three most stressful and trying things in your life are yeah. um, losing a job, mm-hmm. losing losing a significant other, yeah. and um, and moving house. Well, I lost a job. I moved house. And I tell you what, if we'd argued any further, I was going to lose a significant other. Because I'll tell you now, I would have thrown her under a bus. That's how bad the move went. But, all right. So, oh, as dear. you can see, as you can see, I'll give you a little tour of my office looking for shit out. You've started him off, turned, Scott. You've started him off. Into a, it's been turned into a, a, a changing room, apparently. It, it, there's more clothes and shit in here than there are hanging on the rail outside of a, a, a Primark bloody changing room. Yeah. Um, even after I timed it. But, yeah, I mean, as I say, um, I, I'd, I'd like to think that we could compete with these teams. We, we, in fact, we should be competing with teams like Villa. Um, Maybe Moyes just doesn't fancy them. Maybe Moyes just doesn't see that they fit into the way he wants to play football. And then, listen, if that's the case, then fine. If that's the, if that's the case, then I am fully behind that. And, I've, I've, you know, I've, I've said many times that in, in Moyes, we trust. In Moise's track. You know, um, I, I'd like to think that um, Moise has already got his eye on the ball. But that being said, I would have preferred a second striker in by now. I would have preferred a second striker. Oh, Scott, it will. It will. I have no doubt. Um, you know, I, I work in all the hours God sends at the minute to earn the money to be able to, you know, buy the decorated stuff and then get it sort of paid for decorated coming with whatever we do. Uh, um, but no, I'd, I'd like to think, Rob, that we, we would have got a second striker in already. I'm, I'm just concerned that we're, we're still sitting there dicking around. You know, Zuma, Zuma's targeting, uh, you know, the Man U game as a return. Hmm. So maybe we need to spend a little bit more cash on that striker and get in someone that is He's going to really push Antonio. I don't want us to buy someone that's coming in and is willing to sit on yeah. the bench. I want I want someone that's coming in and telling just, Antonio, your shirt's fine. Just on this one, if, we, if I can just dive into this one real quick, Duke. Um, yeah, Kent's on. comment there about Luca Dina. I, I got to be honest, and I was having this conversation with George yesterday, um, the ginger prick, as you call him. Um, <laughs> that's one of the. Prick. Is he all right? Yeah. Uh, and he's, he's good. He's good. Um, he actually I say good. He wasn't. He wasn't great yesterday. I got to say, he he was he was spewing. He woke up and started spewing up everywhere, and he spent most of the day in bed with a headache and and just not feeling very well. But he's okay now. Um, sure. but Luca Dina, I sort of I was I was saying to George yesterday. I said, to be honest with you, I'm not really too fussed about him in a way because it's like, well, is he an upgrade on Cresswell? Well, let's let's look at it. Is he as good? Is Dina as good as Cresswell defensively? In my opinion, no. Is he as good as Cresswell offensively? I think he's better than Cresswell offensively. So that's one one. One cancels the other one out. Yeah. Okay. Um, he's younger, so that's that's now going in Dina's favour. But he's only younger by about three years, I think, uh, maybe four. Um, but I would say that Cresswell's set piece delivery is better. So now it's sort of like, well, it's two two. So really, you're is Luca Dinia in the middle of it, aren't you? Yeah. So Luca Dinia on balance, I don't think is much. It, it probably isn't an upgrade on Cresswell. I'd say he's an upgrade on Masuaku. But to be honest with you, I think your Logan would be an upgrade on my Masuaku. So say, yeah. Again. I, I listen. I, I like Dinya. Um, mm. uh, you and I, you and I, you and I have discussed um, Dinya a few times in in different streams. Hammerhead. For me, we need to look at a long term Cresswell replacement. Yeah, I agree. For me, um, listen, Dinya's got four years, three or four years on him. He can be seen as a long term if he was to come in now and take Cresswell's place. You've got four years in of a left back, right? But that's not going to be the case. He's, you know, if if we can get, if we can get um, 
press ball back, fit and firing, then you want someone long term. And if that would be, yeah, so he's probably got another year, 18 months in it. Then you're looking at Long Gallo. Yeah. Probably. Or maybe Johnson uh, and, and Ashby's the right back. I don't know. Listen, I, I have to say, Johnson Johnson filled me with confidence on Sunday at left mm. back more than he had done uh, in previous outings at left back. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh, hello. There's a, there's a name. Nicholas Tagliafico. Yeah, he was... Um, yeah, he was the one that was, that was... Was he not signing for us? And then he was signing for Spurs and then he was back yeah. signing for us and then went, I'm not signing for anyone. I he stayed move. at Ajax, didn't he? Yeah, he yeah. did, yeah. Yeah, uh, but I'll, I'll tell you a name that I, I like is Lee Buchanan. Yeah. Lee I, Buchanan. I think you guys... I was um, I was following around on the bar earlier after I'd done all my all my cleaning jobs and bits and pieces earlier, and I, I started scrolling through Facebook after I'd done a few um, uh, Facebook posts for the pub, and I, I saw you guys talking about um, Lee Buchanan on there. I think it was you and Marlsey on Kent uh, Kent's post, mm -hmm. and I had a little look um, on. Yeah, transfer marks to a couple of other places at, at Buchanan. And yes, is the answer. I, I, as, as Ken says there, he would be the perfect long term replacement. Hmm. You know, if we don't if we if we don't do what you've just said with with regards to moving um Johnson over there permanently, um <clears throat> would be brilliant. Listen when it comes to championship players, I defer everything out to Kent. I have a list um, of players that Kent um, has sent me. Um, I want to sit down with you, Rob, over the yep. next probably two weeks um, to do a couple of videos that, that. Um, of, of suggestions that, that obviously Kent has, has pinned over, kindly pinned over to me. Yeah. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I believe he pinged them over to me, but then obviously everything with the move of the pub and everything else kind of put everything that I had planned with yourself, well, what I wanted to get planned in with yourself on the back burner. Um, now, now obviously, I've, I've got a little bit more time because I'm not being dragged downstairs. As I said to you when you came to see me in the pub, I'm not going to be dragged downstairs to, to go and do this. Do, can you come and work? I've, I've got I could probably send Joe down there while we do a video. Do you know what I mean? So it's, yeah. it, I'm not going to be. So we can do a lot more stuff, and we can, you know, once I get, once I get this room sorted and and and, and get back to where I want to be, get some proper internet rather than you know the 52 meter stuff downstairs, <laughs> and then we can we can we can really hit it, and and we can, you know, we can do the uh, the, the video that I wanted to do when Kent pinged over the the stuff. Yeah. Fair enough. So. Give me a score prediction for tomorrow, Duke. I mean, listen, I'd love a repeat of last season. Last season? Was it last season? Mikel Antonio. Oh, you that was two seasons ago because they were in championship last season, weren't they? Oh, yes, yeah, two seasons ago, yes. When, when, when we came out of COVID, wasn't it? Yeah, and, we um, played the game at Carrow Road, didn't we? Yeah, and, and Antonio, there you go. Nah. Um, and Antonio bagged all four, didn't he? Um, he did. I'd, I'd love a, I'd love a, I'd love a repeat performance. Um, on that, uh, we get to, yeah. To be honest with you, um, I've, I've had a little look at Derby's predicament down there, Rob, mm. and um, who's the other one? There was two others that we were linked with tentatively. Was it Max Bird and? Kent will tell you. He'll know. I can't remember. There was, um, there was three players. And I did, I did a, a, a quick uh, what's name about them, uh, a stream about them. You did. You can oh, use one. I, I think Max I Bird was the Rooney, other. And... I don't think Rooney's going to gonna want to give them up too easy, though, because they probably will be key. Listen, I've had a little yeah, watch. Of, of administrators some might overrule him. Yeah, but I've been watching. Yeah, but listen, if they get relegated, and at the moment it, it's on the cards, but I also think that with the squad they've got, they could just about drag that back and stay up. 
Mike. You know, they, 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 It'd listen, be a they, they've and got half that. Listen, they've got a, they, they've got a champion, a championship winning side. If if they hadn't have lost all their players, or the sorry, if they hadn't have lost all them points, yeah, they'd be up there right now. Mm. He can, listen. I I think. What what are they behind now? Do we know, Rob? Have you, have, uh, have you seen? I can have a look. Hang on. That's what I'm just doing. It's all right. Oh, you. Do, all right. Okay. I'll let you do it. Championship on, table. But, right. I've just they, seen uh, John Swift. My brother um, mentioned him the other day. Um, he's at Reading. Um, yes, Jason Knight. That was it. Thanks, Ken. I, I was. I had Jason something in my head, and I just, I just couldn't get it out. Yeah, Jason Knight. So he's got them now on 11, 11, no, yeah, 11 points. He's got them on 11 points. And how many points did they have deducted? Was it 21 or something, it, wasn't it? I think it was 25, maybe. I might be wrong. But they are, how many go down in the championship? Is it three? I think it's three. Right. Well, then they're 11 points off the safety. Have they got any games in hand? Uh, no, in fact, Reading have a game in hand. Ooh. Peterborough have two, and Barnsley have one. They need snookers. Listen, I, I I think they've got a great opportunity of doing it. If they do, it will show you that miracles can happen. It will show you that miracles can happen. So I don't, and I get what you're saying about you know the administrators might overrule that. But then they might not need the administrators, Rob, if um, if the former Newcastle toss pot, um, my former <laughs> boss toss pot, does what he says he's going to do, and he's, he's he's dropped fifty million quid on the table, I believe. Um, Has he? I, I believe so. Or, or, or it was rumoured, or it was reported that he was about to drop a fifty million uh, wedge of cash on a table um, to, to to buy him. Um, and if if that happens, I think if that happens, I feel so sorry for Derby. I'd rather I'd rather stay in administration and have that prick come and, and, and buy my football club. Um, so they might not even they might not need to have a have a say in it. They might not even have to have a I, say. I in thought it. you liked Mike Ashley, especially yeah, after that um, story about the walks. I right, listen. I got. I don't like him. I I have respect for his business acumen. Yeah. But I wouldn't want him anywhere near my football club. I, in fact, I'd, I'd rather the twacks that we've got than him near my football club. Fair enough. If you think, listen, if you think our fan base is, is toxic towards those three idiots, I'm telling you now, if that prick had been an owner of our club, we wouldn't have stopped at storming the pitch against Burnley. We would have taken that corner flag and shoved it up his fucking nose. I'm telling you, in the director's box. So done a COVID test before there was COVID. Yeah, I, I trust me. Uh, I have no doubt that we would have something, something worse would have happened than just a, a couple of pitch invasions. Uh, you, you've yeah. seen the way that they turned on that area of the stadium. It would have been ten times worse. Worse with him in charge. You know, Newcastle suffered the absolute. You know humiliation of, you know, the stadium name change. Sports Direct, Jackson Jones is part of fuck off. The geezer was so self-centred and, it, you know, it, it, the football club was pretty much just there to boost his ego, as far as I'm concerned. And, you know, uh, our poison dwarf and, and whatever, you know, yeah, Father Christmas and... Uh, but then again, um, they, they didn't have any debt when he sold it. No. No, you're right. And and, he, and let's be quite frank, he sold them to a country, Rob. They're the first football club to be owned by a country. Don't get me wrong, it's a country with questionable human rights, but it's still a country. I feel, I feel okay. sorry for St. Maxim. Yeah, and, and St. Maxim, man. If, if he don't start pulling it together, he's going to be in the middle of the pitch and stoned. Or shot by a firing squad, <laughs> as is their right. Beheaded. Oh dear. Yeah. Anyway, Can so we, give me a score in, prediction. In a, in a bit, Kent. Yes, yes. I, I want to talk about this as well. Um, score we prediction. Did it yesterday. Four nil. Four. We'll do it again. Four. Four nil. 
guys in the in the live chat, give us your score predictions. Give us your give us your goal scorers as well. Who, who do you think's you think it's going to be another four goals for Antonio or? Um, Could well, he do listen, it again? I, I I thought that um I thought that uh, we were going to get goals from um on on Sunday. I thought you know four nails would score. <laughs> Didn't even start. Um. It just depends on what side he plays, Rob. If he, you know, if he puts his team up that you've got on there, well, you could you could see the the majority of the the, the players in that front four. Um, you know, it depends if if Cresswell plays, then I, I'm in some sort of agreement with with Sharky there that Dawson could be on the on the on the on the um, score sheet along with. Um, He's due one, isn't he? Yeah, along with um, Dio. You know, because that's what they're there for, kind of thing. You know, from the free kicks and and corners. So it just depends on whether Cressy's, if Cressy's able to play. Um, but no, I'll go four nil. And if I had to pick goal scorers from your, uh, from your predicted lineup, I'd I'd have Bowen, Lanzini, Vlasic, and Antonio all bagging one. Nice. All the front four getting in on the act. I'm going three nil. I'll go three nil. I think. And I think Bowen's going to be heavily involved if if his his last five games or so, well, his entire season, if we're being completely honest about it, or anything to go by, I I do see Bowen being heavily involved in the in the goal action. I think he'll he'll get one, and he'll probably set a couple up as well. Yeah, he's uh, right now. Um, I, I'm just as concerned, if I'm honest, about losing him. Mm. As I am Declan Rice, I'd probably say that he's a close second behind Declan Rice. Declan Rice for me is everything sort of like he's he's the focal point, he's the centerpiece. Yeah. Um, but Bowen is is another critical piece of of the West Ham machine at the minute. And God forbid if he was to be out for any length of time, <sighs> not good. Yeah, it, uh, that's what I mean, mate. I've... Is is he listen? Is the Norwich game one that we could afford not to have him start? Yes. Mm. Yeah, probably. But then maybe give him a day off, um, because are they though, Mark, uh, John? Are they? Yeah, I'd say they are. I'd say Paris Saint Germain are as well. If I'm being honest. Well, yeah, I suppose in a way. But I don't. But it's not. It's, <laughs> the, the way Newcastle's is wording, they are owned by the Saudi. It's, it's owned by the Saudi public investment isn't fund, isn't it? No, it is the government. But it has nothing to do with Bin Salman, does it? Allegedly. Yeah, what a load of bollocks. <laughs> Allegedly, Robert. Allegedly, allegedly, right. allegedly, allegedly, a load of bollocks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, yeah, I mean, I said it when they took it over. It's like, oh, hang on a minute. So you're telling me Amanda Staveley turns around and says, oh, no, Mohammed bin Salman, the crown prince ruler of Saudi Arabia, will have nothing to do with the running of Newcastle United. Um, we're, we're owned by the public investment fund. And then you look and you go, well, who's the, who's the chairman or the CEO of that? Oh, it's crown prince Mohammed bin Salman. So he'll have nothing to do with it. Yeah. And yet he's the, he's the governor of the PIF who own the club. Rightio. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that makes He's sense. Lying bastard. Yeah. It could be worse. Could be worse. Could could be politicians. Yeah, but be out on the terraces having wine and cheese. So let's not. Oh, I probably should. I probably shouldn't, probably shouldn't go political. But it, I've just been listening no. a lot on the radio today, and it's like, oh my goodness. Really? Do you, listen, do you, shenanigans. Do you think, Rob? Yep. Uh, and again, just touching on what what Ken brought up. Have you seen the video that um that was shared of uh, the Kidderminster team singing uh, that they're massive everywhere they go? No, really. Yeah. Yeah. Kidderminster, the Kidderminster players in the in the in the changing rooms after the game. Oh, um, good luck to them. Not on, not when we cross paths, obviously, but 
Yeah, they, yeah, they're, 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 they're all there singing. Um, that they're because they're same sort uh, of level as Dartford, nappy. essentially, aren't they? Because they're they're Conference yeah. North. Conference North, whereas Dartford and Devonsleet are uh, Conference South. Conference mm. South, aren't they? So yeah, I I I I, I love uh, as as Hammerhead put there. Oh, little old I love this funk. I, I love the the fact that you know what they're gonna listen. We're gonna go there. That's the, as we said yesterday. It's a six thousand. Yeah, I can't see it. Um, I, I'll send it to you, Rob. Um, yeah, we're we're gonna go there, and yeah, it's gonna be as fun and games as we think it's gonna be, mate. Oh, it'll because be probably a bobbly pitch. It'll probably be a really cold it's be a shit pitch. It's going to be fucking awful changing rooms, like worse than the ones you had yep. at school, worse than your way dressing room at Barcelona. Um, yep. Probably look like a little bit like this, actually. Um, it'll be, you know, like you say, a, a, a crappy pitch that is, is going to be all over the gas. The, the, the way fans are going to be like there. Looking at you, you know, and it can be unnerving for some of the foreigners. Let's let's not yeah. mess around. You know, we haven't we haven't had a tie like this, Rob, in in some time. Again, no, I suppose we haven't. A, a, a lower league opposition that they're, are, are they going to have to deal with? Obviously, the stands because obviously in conference you're allowed to stand in the stadium, you aren't are. you? So. Yep. Obviously, Back to the old it, days, stood there and, and the again, terracing, and you're like, someone's pissing in my pocket. Yeah, pretty much. And and players like, you know, Fornells haven't seen this kind of setup. Yeah. Yeah. Fornells wouldn't, Suchek wouldn't have come across this. You know, Diop hasn't seen this since he's been here. You know, Antonio will know it. He, he, you know, he's two of the mission boys. He, he's going to yeah. have known that shit. Yeah, you know, um, Bowen. Bowen would have known it. Vlasic ain't gonna have a fucking. But in saying that, he's he's come out of, you know, the back end of God's arsehole. Um, and and probably the stadiums ain't much better than what Kidderminster have got. They're just a bit bigger. Um, so That's a point Sharky yeah. makes. Yeah, was four nails involved in yeah. that game against Stockport? So he might he probably has got that little bit of experience to. Who's that? Back sorry, on. when we played Stockport last season. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, but again, the pitch was just, you know, so, but you know, we're talking about baying fans, you know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> Let's be honest, Kidderminster have probably not sold out that stadium for some time, and they're now about to sell that stadium out. Let's not mess around. And people are going to be expecting a an upset. And we had, as John said, well in uh, conference as well. So, yeah. um, this, 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 this could be interesting. Um, I'd like to see it on TV. I love all of that because, um, again, this, this is, as, as we mentioned yesterday, cup upset. Cup magic is based off of this bullshit. I'd like to think we're past, you know, um, Porfirio seeing snow for the first time and digging one out from underneath his shoelaces. Um, uh, you know, playing Emily Town at Upton Park and, and struggling, I think, to get a one nil winner if, if my memory serves um you know losing to Torquay was it 2-1 losing to losing to um Torquay away <clears throat> all of that I'd, I'd like to think we're past all of that hmm. but then I also remember those those days <laughs> you know what I mean so it's like shit. Andy, it was the orange ball, wasn't it? If I remember right, yeah, I'll take your recollection of that. I've never seen snow before. What's this shit? Um, <laughs> but yeah, I've only seen I, it in I, films. Yeah, well, right. To be fair, I can't remember the last time I saw snow. I need, I need Facebook to remind me on my memories. It'll come up soon, no doubt. Um, so yeah, yeah. Do you um? Are you a little bit sad though? Talking about sort of cup football, are you a little bit sad that there's no replays in this season's FA Cup? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Same. But then on the flip side to it, I understand no. the reasons behind it, but yeah, yeah. You know, there there are some but cracking again, ties that have come from replays. 
Yeah, I mean, listen, for little old Kitty, um, that's got it wrong. For Kitty and start picking up a draw against us and taking us back to the London Stadium is a massive fucking money spinner for them. Hmm. It's not going to happen because of, of of the way that they've got things now. So, yeah, it's um, yeah, there you go. Shout your sister ones your way, yeah. So. It's, it's a shame on that side of things. It's a shame for people like Kidderminster that, that, you know, scrape the draw and then get that massive money spinner back at the London Stadium, you know, and, and, and you know, the chance of our football club turning around and going, there's the gate receipts, guys, and a bit of television money for you, like, like they used to, Rob. Like they used to. You know, um, I, I remember Liverpool doing it one year. I can't remember who it was against, but Liverpool handed over gate receipts and TV money to... Can you honestly see Sullivan doing that? Yeah, I do <laughs> Can't see Sullivan doing that. All the time he's got a hole in his ass. There we go. Good What's time. This? Can you swap the tie to London Stadium? No, I don't believe that's a, that you can't do that anymore, mate. I know you used to be able to. I know we had that with Farnborough and Aldershot back in the early 90s. Hey, they... Farnborough and Aldershot, they're on the list. Sorry? Farnborough and Aldershot were on that list that I forgot, yeah. you know, where we where we didn't we didn't play well. And they, 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 it just brings back haunting memories, Rob. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, ex- exactly what Swap John says there. Yeah, yeah, you're not allowed to do it now, swapping sort of fixtures they don't allow it mm. um I, I listen there's a part of me that thinks why not i mean if kidderminster could earn more money by swapping it and having it at london stadium and they'd get more money that's great but they'd probably give up any even marginal advantage that they might have by taking us and, and playing us on their turf and on a bobbly pitch pissing down with rain howling wind cold do you know what you i mean pretty- and that Any wind chance. will howl around that stadium because mm. they're, they're, they're small stands, Rob, aren't they? So yeah. any wind that will be there will rip through that pitch. I mean, listen, we, I've, I've been to Welling many times. You've, you've been over at Dartford. I've, I've played yeah, down I've at Gravesend a couple of times. Yeah. Played down at Gravesend or North Fleet or Ebb Street or whatever you want to call them nowadays. Yeah. Before that, before the Cuffin stand was built, um, you know, that, that big main stand, I played down there a few times. And when that wind comes in off the Thames, that's a bastard to play on that bit. Like the wind swells. And then Kidderminster's going to be no different. So I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to it. Yeah. Magic of the cup. Should we leave it there, my friend? I think we should. I've just received a text message telling me to hurry the fuck up. So, um, yep. yeah, I think we're going to call it there so I can go beat my son up and put him to bed. Don't forget, guys, um, you know the drill with Isla. Copy and paste this. It's in the description below, YouTube and Facebook. Put it onto your socials. Get the message out there for her and her family. You know the crack. Don't need to tell you. Um, Long-time viewers of the channel will know. And if you don't, Google is your friend. Um, Please, let's try and come together for this little girl and and try and help the, the family out. There's a just giving link there. If you can put any money money into the pot, please do. No donations too small, but as always, give generously. And we thank you very much indeed for your support. And please don't forget to like, comment on, and share the stream. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to hit the bell icon for alerts on new content. And as always, guys, we thank you very much indeed for your support. Any final words? Yeah, I was just saying, if I may, Mister Rob. Um... Mm-hmm. Going back to the link, uh, obviously, for Isla. Um, what I will say is, gentlemen and ladies and people that watch it back, if you can't afford to drop the money in, as Rob says, please share it. But also, don't forget that um, Governor B, yep. with, his, um, with his massive rap, um, obviously, he did it on Soccer AM. A few days later, he released it with all proceeds going to Wyla. If you've got iTunes, if you've got any of that kind of um, Android music and all the rest of it, I believe it's just, I believe it's 99 pence. I might be wrong. It might be 179. Again, not a great deal. No. 
go out and go out and grab that guys. Give give uh, give Governor B, you know that 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 run a a, a, a chart topping single. Um, but you know, more importantly, that all the proceeds go to Wilder as well off the back of that. So that'd be that. That's an outstanding gesture from that man. Um, and you know what? It's the least we can do to get behind it. So let's let's give him a let's give him a, a the, the praise that he deserves by by giving him you know a, 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 a charting record um, and 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 also picking a bit of cash over a while as well. One hundred percent, absolutely. Um, do you want to finish off with your usual? Yeah, we're fucking massive. And um, yep. Kidderminster are going to get battered everywhere they go. <laughs> no, poor Kidderminster. Oh, you yeah, have been to you. Kidderminster. He's still there. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, come on, you irons. 